So today is actually Good Friday, which technically last year on Good Friday is when Connor and I got married, but we got married on the 19th, and today I think is only the 9th or 10th. Um, so it just feels very happy and reminiscent of it. If you guys want me to post our wedding video to this channel, let me know because I could definitely do that. It is so beautiful and I would love for you guys to see it. Um, but anyway, today I'm gonna work on the cushions for the camper. I haven't been able to work on the camper in a while, as you guys have seen, because it's been at my parents' house. They're getting their house repainted, so the camper is all like taped off. That way, none of the residue from the paint gets onto the camper because they're spraying the house. So today, um, it's been raining actually. So the first day, of course, that I can access the camper, it's just been raining and a mess. So I think what I'm gonna try to do instead is reupholster the cushions. I've been trying to think of how can I reupholster them when I don't have stores to go to to get new fabric. And when I was in my basement, I found a few drop cloths. And I don't know if this is crazy, maybe I've just been in the house too long and I think this is a good idea. But drop cloths are so cheap. I have a $9 one and a $20 one. And it's actually the exact color of fabric that I was gonna get anyway. So I figured I might as well test these out and see if it works on the cushions. We only have to do the dinette cushions because the other cushions are gonna be turned into a giant bed. So I'm probably just gonna put like a sheet or something over that so it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna test this out and see how it works. I'm really excited and I'm really hopeful that it's gonna turn out well. So let's go test it. I am so excited for this video. So this drop cloth is the one that I got from Lowe's. It was $20 if I remember correctly. This one is awesome and I decided to use this one um, as opposed to the other one because if you can see it kind of has this like plasticky inside and I thought it would be really great to help protect the cushion in case we do ever spill anything on here which we probably will. So I was a little nervous, I wasn't gonna have enough drop cloth, but I ended up having just enough. It was insane how well this worked out. So I did nine inches of excess um, fabric from the top portion, that way it would be able to flip over. And then I just measured nine inches on this side and I marked that off. And then I just took a board and um, made a line across and then I cut it. And this is really great, even if you guys are watching this months from now and hopefully we're allowed back in stores. Um, but I think this is just a really cool hack and I am very shocked at this. I just got back home from doing it and I'm just very mind blown at how well this worked. So I just cut that and then I just repeated the process and I cut the other side. Once that was cut, I had only one more piece of fabric left and it was seriously a miracle because I cut it straight down the middle and each of those pieces was just enough for the top portion of um, the cushions. So it was seriously amazing at how this one sheet of drop cloth worked for all four cushions. So you could obviously sew these and get really intense with them, but I'm not great at sewing, so I decided to take some of this extra plywood I had lying around, and we just cut these to um, fit the backs of the cushion. By the way, this clip right here is not in fast forward or anything, but I just feel like it looks so fast. I don't know why, but um, yeah, so we just cut the pieces and that way we can just staple the fabric to it rather than having to try and sew actual um, cushion covers. Of course, you guys can do that if that's something you're good at, but for me, I'm not. And the rest of you guys who are not that um, sewing savvy, this is probably the better option. So I put the cushion down and then I put the wood on top of it. And as you guys can see, the wood doesn't go over the cushion. It just kind of borders on the inside and it just makes it really easy for us to staple the fabric on. So you wanna make sure you're pulling this super tight. So I did have both of my parents help me. The tighter you can do it, the better it will look. Um, and then this is how I finished off the sides. I just had it folded so it looks like there's a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom, almost as if you are wrapping a present. And then I just kind of overlapped the layers like that and then we stapled them down and it left it with a nice clean finish. 
I just cannot stress enough to you guys, please make sure that you are pulling this as tight as possible. If you're not pulling it tight enough, it will look really messy and really wrinkly. And in about 10 seconds, you guys will see my dad freak me out. He loves to scare my mom and I. I don't know why, he just always does. He would never do anything, but he just loves to freak us out. Close your eyes, hope for the best. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> you like, you went like this with it, like on my finger, and it was here. <laughs> you didn't even pull the ring out. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. See what I have to put up with? No. <laughs> See what I have to put up with. That's pretty good at it. <laughs> we just love teasing each other. I love my parents so much. They are literally my best friends. They are the best and they are just so helpful with all of this stuff. It's so good. What a cheap way to do it. I'm so impressed. Wow. It's so smooth. 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 Mm, great. <laughs> it really is. Wow. I'm very impressed with this. Very nice. So, okay, so how many, we have four cushions, four divided by 20 is five. five. So only five dollars a cushion. That is great. <laughs> I was so excited at the thought that each cushion only cost five dollars because the fabric I was looking at to reupholster my cushions was going to be very expensive. So I am actually really excited that desperate times call for desperate measures and I just think this was amazing. I would totally do this again if we ever have anything else to reupholster. I just think it came out so beautifully. So I am just repeating all of the steps. I would say that the smaller cushions for some reason were a lot harder to do and I was kind of over it by the end of it. I was just exhausted. It's not that this process was hard, but I think it was tedious, especially not having an electric stapler. I had to put all of my body weight really into stapling it. So it just made me kind of winded and tired. I don't know, maybe I was being a baby, but I was just really happy to be done with it. So let's go bring these into the camper and see what they look like. So here is the final result. I am so excited about this. I cannot believe how good they look. And it's crazy because when I was looking for fabric, I was looking for this exact color and texture. And like I said, it was expensive. So I'm just really happy at how good it looks. We also did put Wayne's coating up behind the um, little chairs and you guys will see that in the next video. So we do have the option of not having that top cushion. That way you can see the Wayne's coating. So I kind of have to decide what I want to do, but I just love it. And here is me awkwardly trying to take a thumbnail picture. So we just got done with the cushions. I ended up needing my parents' help because it was a little hard um, just to hold everything. So I'm so grateful that they were here to help me. I am honestly mind blown at how amazing it looks. I really wasn't expecting it to look that good, but it looks so good. And I feel like I'm finally seeing the vision of the camper coming together. I was a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like everything's coming together and I'm just so excited now to get everything done. Um, hopefully next week we're gonna finish up all the painting inside and then we can start finishing each room off one by one. So I'm really excited for those videos. I hope you guys are all staying safe and having a great day. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.